Fast Boston boy. Uh, he's fast. He's from Boston. He's a boy. I think. Oh, and he's also got a lot of stereotypes about him, so let's talk about those. This guy is almost certainly wearing a workout set of some kind. You know, the ones with the, the front runner, the breakneck baggies, that sort of thing. Skill levels among these guys will vary wildly, but one thing's for sure, he doesn't work out nearly as much as he wants you to believe. Ah, the old school trader. We've talked about this guy many times before, so you pretty much already know what to expect from him. Unusual's out the ass, pretty average skill level, has a lot of binds, but the binds aren't trash talk or meme binds, they're trading binds. You know, the ones that he spams after every time he dies, it says buying quick sells 15 keys pure, even though he's in a casual server and almost nobody cares, and the ones who do care don't even know what a key is, probably. I, I, You know, as far as scout mains go, this guy is surprisingly chill. They'll usually be pretty good and just kind of play to have a good time, but whatever you do, don't insult his little friend, because if you do, you can pretty much guarantee that he will relentlessly focus you for the rest of the match. You just don't mess with a man's pet cosmetic, okay? That's just asking for disaster. Okay, we get it. You like festive weapons and hats. Holy crap. Just, I, why, why are you accusing that guy of having wall hacks? We can literally hear you from across the map. What? I, I, I oh my God. This guy will constantly complain about how the sound effects that this makes only work with the default taunts. I mean, come on, I'm sure it would be great if you could add some other sound effects to your Schadenfreude to Lennybind combo. Yeah, yeah, dude, people would love that. Despite the fact that it doesn't work with most of the taunts in the game, these guys will still use them after every single kill, even if it gets themselves killed. So you remember Scout McCrazyLegs crouch jump spam? Uh, that, that guy who always wears the Hermes? Yeah, well, this is the misc that he wears. He can't aim for shit, but he dodges so well that you can't hit him either. Most of the fights with this guy will usually just lead to an awkward standoff where you both either melee fight or kill blind. Oh boy, another fucking fast learner scout. Hey, hey, I'll have you know that I only wear the fast learner because it goes with the theme of my schoolboy cosmetic set. Just because I wear obnoxiously loud and overused cosmetics doesn't mean I'm an annoying scout main. For example, you could have- Three days later. And that concludes my presentation on the oppression of fast learner scouts. I hope you take these arguments into consideration and be more open to the possibility of lime paint in the future. Where'd everybody go? Ah, why does nobody like me? These guys are extremely defensive about wearing the fast learner. They'll always go on and on about how they only wear it because it fits their set or whatever, even though nobody's listening to them. I guess the reason for this is mostly because every single annoying scout main used to wear this back in the day, but now that there are so many better options to be loud and obnoxious, the people who still wear this are just kind of left with the stereotype that they didn't create and they still get called out on it constantly. So. No, not every scout who wears this is a raging asshole, but damn if this doesn't scream, I'm going to focus you in spam binds after every time I kill you with three damage from across the map with my Australian force of nature. This guy will always be wearing the full alien isolation set. Always the full thing, never just one part. I mean, really, when was the last time that you saw a scout wearing the tail or the hands or the feet, but not the head? I guess now that I've said this, people are gonna start doing that, but as the wise scholar Bearded Expense once said, Eh, whatever. G guys, 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 no. Guys, I'm not a scunt. I pro- Look, I'm not wearing the fast learner. It means I'm not a scunt. Okay, guys, I'm not a scunt. I promise. Guys, guys, I'm not a scunt. I promise, really. Okay, really. Both of these kind of fit into the same niche. They want to have a cool and themed scout set, but they don't want to be seen as the fast learner wearing, lime paint loving, bind spamming asshole that we all know and hate. They also tend to wear the Yieldy Baker Boy, which is kind of seen as the go to for the category of cosmetics that I like to call cool scout hats that don't instantly make people hate you. 
Okay, so some people who wear this are making a loadout based on Akira, which is the show that this cosmetic was based on, but usually the guy who wears this will be creating some kind of loadout based in the future. Um, some kind of... Future. Some... Future. Look, look, they wear sci-fi loadouts, okay? That's it. That's a stereotype. They, 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 they like... F oh, oh, for fuck's sake! Well, there's a Hitchhiker's Guide joke to be made here somewhere. I'm just not really sure what it is yet. Uh, either way, the only way you could get these was through a promotional event back in 2011, so these guys are either rich as hell or super old school. This guy is probably making a loadout based on his... Uh, Sorry, based on who? Y you know, the... the, the, the who? The... the Dude, speak up. Who? Oh. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Whoa, this dude is totally gnarly and definitely gets all the girls. He definitely isn't wearing this cosmetic just because he wanted a backpack cosmetic that wasn't the Boombringer and couldn't afford the lucky number 42. No, not at all. The no, kickflips and... Oh, okay. All right, I'm done. I'm sorry. That was fucking dumb. Guys... Guys, please think I'm cool. No, no, you don't understand. Nobody thinks I'm cool in real life, so now I have to try really hard to create an online persona that's really badass. I'm gonna constantly focus people in-game and point out insignificant flaws in online content so that people will think I'm smart and cool. Guys, guys, please think I'm cool. Guy, no, guys, don't go away. Please think I'm cool. Okay, okay, you get the idea. These guys also tend to constantly complain about how the gloves aren't visible in first person, and it gets kind of annoying after the 17 billionth time that they say it, but I will admit that that's a pretty good idea and should probably be implemented. Oh, hey, guys, here's your obligatory weeb joke of the episode. <laughs> Okay, okay, real talk. This is straight up one of my favorite scout misks. It looks amazing, but it hasn't fallen into the edgy scout main realm yet because everybody just kind of forgot that it existed. People who wear this are really hoping that it stays that way and are also kind of mad at me right now. Uh, sorry? This guy is always wearing the fortunate sun. Yeah, I, I, I know, it's a short one, but I... I mean, I'd probably have like a Vietnam flashback joke or something here, but I already did that a couple videos ago, so I, I just... Eh, whatever. Hey, you see this guy? Yeah, that one. Uh, he's that guy that will bring his guitar to parties and try and hook up with someone. Like, he doesn't know how to play any chords beyond E minor, G, D, and A without a capo, and he really only knows one song. Well, anyway, here's Wonderwall. Ahem. <clears throat> Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back oh, to you. God. By now, oh you should have somehow God. realized God. what you've got to do. Well, that's it. That's all I've got for this episode. As always, we're gonna be doing Soldier next, so let me know if you have any suggestions or stereotypes or whatever for that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys know the drill at this point. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.